Hello from Bryson City, here with another art lesson. Uh, today I'm just down here in the woods, and um, we're going to make an outdoor sculpture. So our sculpture today is actually going to be an edible sculpture, as well as uh, something pretty to look at. So uh, the most important part of this is you will need some, what I have here, these are Blue Lake Pole Beans. Um, you can get um, whatever kind you like. There's multiple different kinds of pole beans and that kind of stuff. Um, so I, I picked Blue Lake because I remember uh, growing up, um, that's what we grew in the garden was Blue Lake Pole Beans. So let me turn around here. So this is what took a little while today, was digging out this short little row and all those rocks all those rocks so um, basically and I've got some some stakes here so I want to show you all you can do what I was going to do is more of the traditional um, for the pole beans so we have one here we'll come over here to this end and put another one here and of course I'll pound these in the ground better as we get going you could do two like that so then you know you have the row of beans my stick is a little crooked <laughs> but you have the row of beans um, you can also if you have multiple sticks and they're much taller than these little guys you could um, put them together and make like a pyramid or like a teepee kind of shape so that you have three or four of them um, if you're going to do that I would recommend going and finding you a stand of bamboo uh, I'm sure whoever, if it's by the river, the DOT will probably be happy that you're taking large pieces of bamboo. Um, but yeah, absolutely, get you a couple. Um, in this space here, you just figure out how large of an area you want to do for your um, um, for your tent teepee pyramid, and then you would dig that area out. And then you could plant beans at the base of each pole, and typically you want to do three is a pretty stable setup kind of like with a tripod three is very stable four is good uh, anything more than that um, you're going to start getting a bigger area so but again your area would be a circle or a triangle based on how many poles you want to use and then you put the beans um, at the base of the poles you could also if you have a big enough circle like that put um, squash in the middle squash goes well with with beans could be hidden provide a little shade underneath there um, for this I'm gonna do um, just a regular old run and I've got some uh, twine that we picked up some jute jute twine and it's dyed green so we'll get this out and we'll run it across uh, from pole to pole um, I can show you all how to do that it's pretty it's pretty straightforward you just basically tie at the top run the line over come down run the line across and then start doing the zigzag pattern but you could get creative and you could do other patterns as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put this here on the camera on the tripod and we'll get started Yeah, when I was down at Ace Hardware today, I was surprised about the number of seeds uh, that they didn't have in stock. Normally you go in there and they have quite a selection of seeds. They got plenty of flowers, but everyone's doing the garden this year. So packets of seeds, they don't really have them. But bulk seeds over in their counter that you get someone to help you with, they have lots of those. So you can still get some seeds if you go.
come back up here and make some make some comments here. So if you noticed, I did not. I ran the line over. I ran, wrapped it around, went down, wrapped it around, and then ran it, came across, wrapped it around. Did not cut the line. The purpose for that is, is when you um, take this down at the end of the year um, to put it away um, after the beans are done growing, then you'll have a much longer string to work with instead of a bunch of little bit of string. Uh, this jute is also biodegradable, so if you don't save it, it will deteriorate and go back into the soil. So now I'm going to get onto the pattern.
All right, there's our string. When we get finished here, uh, I'm gonna come through and hoe out a row for the beans and we'll spread the beans out. Um, typically when you plant the beans, you wanna go ahead and fill the row, not, not totally full, space them about inch apart, a couple seeds, and then you'll come back through and you'll thin them out after, they, after they've sprouted. So let me get that show going, just show you real quick and then that'll be it. All right, well, there you go. So probably, oh, I'd say a couple weeks, maybe a week. We'll see. We'll come out here and check and see what's going on. See if we've had anything sprout. And then hopefully we'll have this covered with beans. And we'll see what happens. Have a wall of green out here below the house. So... You guys are doing any gardening i'd love to see what you're doing so uh post pictures in the comments container gardening or if you have a small plot that'd be awesome to see that so um any other questions or anything feel free to post in the comments and uh, have fun getting outside and digging in the dirt see you next time take care